Staking lines is a lot like staking points. Tap a line and tap stake out to start staking a line. Line stake out has multiple methods. First, we will stake to the line. This directs us to the closest point on the line, displaying the station and offset deltas. Many people prefer the stakeout method as they don't want to input station values. They just walk along the line until the station value meets their needs. If you do want to stake specific stations, you can use the station on a line method. Type in a station and a station interval, or tap the station in the map to select a station. When staking a station on a line, we get deltas to the point as well as deltas to the line. After staking a station, tap station plus or station minus, or use the up and down arrow keys on the controller keyboard to move to the next station. You can also stake a station offset from a line. You can see the target point offset from the line in the map and the stakeout graphics. Another useful stake method is distance along the line. This will allow you to stake a point a slope distance along a line or polyline. Each different type of stakeout to the line and to a point on the line has its own group of deltas and are remembered independently. Remember to save any changes to your style for them to persist for future surveys. You can also add lines to your stakeout list, along with points, arcs, alignments, and polylines. Thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful, and I look forward to seeing you on another video.